Orpheus at the Second Gate of Hades by Yusuf Komonyaka. My lyre has fallen and broken, but I have my little tom-toms. Look, do you see those crows perched on the guardhouse? I don't wish to speak of omens, but sometimes it's hard to guess. Life has been good the past few years. I know all seven songs of the sparrow and feel lucky to be alive. I woke up at 2.59 this morning, reprieved because I fought dream catchers and won. I'll place a stone in my mouth and go down there again, and if I meet myself mounting the stairs, it won't be the same man descending. Doubt has walked me to the river's edge before. I may be ashamed, but I can't forget how to mourn and praise on the marimba. I shall play till the day's golden machinery stops between the known and the unknown. The place was a funeral pyre for the young who died before knowing the thirst of man or woman. Furies with snakes in their hair wept. Tantalus ate pears and sipped wine in a dream. As the eyes of a vulture poised over Titius's liver, I could see Ixion strapped to a gyrating wheel, and Sisyphus sat on his rounded stone. I shall stand again before Proserpine and King Pluto, when it comes to defending love, I can make a liar drag down the moon and stars, but it's still hard to talk of earthly things, ordinary men killing ordinary men, women, and children. I don't remember exactly what I said at the ticket office my first visit here, but I do know it grew ugly. The classical illusions didn't make it any easier. I played a tune that worked its way into my muscles, and I knew I had to speak of what I'd seen before the serpent drew back its head. I saw a stall filled with human things, an endless list of names, a hill of shoes, a room of suitcases, tagged to nowhere, eyeglasses, toothbrushes, baby shoes, dentures, ads for holiday spas, and a wide roll of thick cloth woven of living hair. If I never possess these reed flutes and drums, if my shadow stops kissing me because of what I have witnessed, I shall holler to you through my bones, I promise you.